Well, home box office is really living up to its name now. From HBO to Amazon Prime, new shows and movies are heading to a television near you. Sean Hobbs lets us know what's out there from the director's chair. Hey everybody, so as of today, pretty much all of the movies that were playing in theaters when they closed down have moved home on demand on VOD. Who's this handsome chap? Brahms. How'd you come up with that? He tells me all sorts of things. Uh-oh, today we add Brahms the Boy to the Creepy Doll sequel with Katie Holmes. Now the first one was decent, this one's not. It's pretty bad actually. And then earlier in the week moving to VOD, we had the big sequel Bad Boys for Life. We had the Sonic the Hedgehog movie with Jim Carrey, and also Impractical Jokers the movie, with the true TV guys pulling their hidden camera pranks on the big screen. Except they're now back on the small screen. All right, now let's turn to some new, new movies you can rent on demand. Oh my God, this could be what I've been waiting for. Someone to take care of me for a change. There's Will and Grace's Sean Hayes in Lazy Susan, a comedy about an unmotivated oddball attempting to turn her life around. Allison Janney and Matthew Broderick are also in that. I'm just not ready to be a mom. Where else could you go? Nowhere in Pennsylvania. Then you have Never, Rarely, Sometimes, Always, about two girls on a journey to a New York abortion clinic. There's The Other Lamb, about a girl who starts to question her life in a cult, led by Game of Thrones' Mikkel Hausman. And there's the action sequel Rogue Warfare The Hunt, which has an elite anti-terrorist squad out to rescue one of their own, Will Yun Lee and Stephen Lang star. Dad? Ah, he's just legs! I definitely remember Dad having a top part! Then Pixar's Onward was just in theaters, then quick to VOD. Well, today, added to Disney+. Plus. So if you have Disney+, Plus, you have Onward. And Disney Plus also just added some new nature documentaries. Dolphin Reef, narrated by Natalie Portman. And Elephant, narrated by Meghan Markle. Now then, more new streaming releases. Hulu has the final season of Future Man, with Josh Hutcherson traveling through time. Everyone is connected to the loop in one way or another. To Amazon Prime comes Tales from the Loop, a series about a small town touched by sci-fi, with Rebecca Hall and Jonathan Price. I want to see the police report for Richie Slice. I'm not going away. Apple TV Plus premieres the show Home Before Dark, which stars the Florida Project's Little Brooklyn Prince, as a mystery-solving nine-year-old reporter. It's actually based on a real kid. You didn't flush. This big. Do you see that? <laughs> and of course, tons of new stuff on Netflix. They give funny comedian Eliza Schlesinger her own sketch comedy series. While their new docu-series, How to Fix a Drug Scandal, looks at a chemist who got into all sorts of big bad trouble. They've added more episodes of their Spanish language hit, Money Heist. They have more baking fails in a new season of Nailed It. You expect us to be BFFs? Out of my face, man. Uh, good talk. And finally, they just dropped the movie Coffee and Kareem, a buddy comedy that stars Ed Helms as a cop who has to partner with a kid, his girlfriend's son, actually, who hates his guts. Taraji P. Henson co-stars in that. All right, you know the drill. Stay home, stay safe. I'll see you next time from the director's chair. All right, Sean, with a lot of content there, and we've really never needed it more, right? So a lot to get to for the next week until we hear from Sean again next Friday.